Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and this is uh, actually going to be a different video. This is going to be my uh, daily movie, my monthly movie preview that I do. You know, I always do these uh, movie previews, and I enjoy doing them. Even though I didn't get to see many movies in the last, you know, in the last month, which was expected because I haven't seen many movies at all this year. I have seen two movies in the theaters this year so far, which is fine because, I mean, I can always just get them on DVD, but whatever. Um... This is going to be me basically talking about the movies that are coming out this May. Now, May, as we know, is a huge month for movies. You know, it's the time when it starts to get nicer outside and, you know, summer starts coming. It's officially the summer movie season tomorrow. The first big summer movie comes out tomorrow, and we're definitely going to get to that. So uh, let's just get into it because there are a lot of movies to talk about, Um, you know, that I really want to discuss. The first one, of course, is The Amazing Spider-Man 2 coming out, you know, May... May 2nd, um, by the way, happy May, everyone, it's now May, so happy May, um, but it comes out May 2nd, and let me just tell you guys, from the trailer, and from all the reviews I've been hearing, this looks 10 times better than the first one, I really liked the first movie, I'm one of the few people who did, I thought the first movie was good for what it was, I thought it was a good, different take on Spider-Man, I thought it was definitely good, but this one looks like it's gonna be so much better, and I do know what happens at the end, because, um, I looked up online, I'm not gonna tell you what happens, but... I'm just going to say that this looks amazing, and I'm really, really looking forward to seeing it, and I think it's going to be really good. It's definitely not going to be as good as Captain America, because I don't think anything's going to be Captain America. Well, maybe one movie might, but we'll have to see. But definitely Amazing Spider-Man 2. This looks epic. It looks amazing. It just, it looks great. You've got a great cast as well, so I'm really looking forward to the Amazing Spider-Man 2. The next movie, I know nothing about this, and don't plan on watching it. It looks like, it, it honestly sounds like a, a terrible movie. It's called Walk of Shame. And it's with uh, James Marsden, Elizabeth Banks, and a bunch of other people. Honestly, just from the title, just from the movie alone, not even knowing much about it, it looks like a piece of shit. It really does. I'm not going to be nice to this movie. It just, it looks awful to me. So, walk of shame. I know nothing about this. It just, it, all I know is that it, it looks pretty awful. Uh, so, let's not talk about that. The next movie, though. This is a movie that I've been wanting to see for years. Literally years. First, the trailer came out in, like, uh, 2012, I think it was. And they said it was going to be coming out next year. So I was really looking forward to it. And then they pushed it back. Now they're finally showing trailers for it, and it's finally coming out. And that is Legends of Oz, Dorothy's Return. And you know what? I'm really looking forward to this because two words. Leah Michelle. Well, actually, those are four words. Leah Michelle, Megan Hilty. Yes. Leah Michelle is the star of this movie. She plays Dorothy. And she provide, you know, it's going to be a musical as well, which I, you know, when I first saw the show, I'm like, this is amazing. It's a great concept. And one of the great things is that it has some great Broadway stars in there. You have Leah Michelle, um, Kelsey Grammer, uh, who's not really, you know, he's a movie actor, but he's also been on Broadway. So definitely he has a great voice. Megan Hilty's in there, obviously, and Bernadette Peters as well. So it definitely is going to be a great movie. I think it's probably going to be, end up being probably my favorite anime movie of the year. It looks really, really great. I'm really looking forward to this one. I definitely want to see this in theaters because I've been wanting to see it for a while. I think this is going to be this year's Frozen, personally. Um, I know it's really early, but this looks like this year's Frozen because of all the Broadway people that are in it. I think it's going to be this year's Frozen. And I, I cannot wait to see this movie. I think it's going to be fantastic, and I'm just I'm really, really looking forward to it. And again, I am wanting to see this for a very long time, so I'm very happy it's finally coming out. So, Legend of Dorothy... Um, Legend of Oz, Dorothy's Return, it does come out May 9th, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. It looks great. I, I just, I cannot wait for it. It's gonna be so, so good. Um, and I really am looking forward to when they put that soundtrack out, because the soundtrack's gonna be epic for this. The next movie is a movie that's coming out that, uh, I know nothing about, um, Mom's Night Out? Anything? It, it kind of just sounds like a generic family movie with, uh, practically no one I know except for Patricia Heaton and Trace Atkins. I don't know anyone else in it. Someone named Alex Kendrick. Maybe that's Anna Kendrick's brother. I don't know. Um, honestly, the movie just sounds like a piece of shit. It doesn't look good at all. Um, the next movie of this movie, I'm really looking forward to. And that movie, of course, is Neighbors. And you know why? This is basically the follow-up to This is the End, because, you know, Seth Rogen did the movie last year, and it kind of has the same people in it. You used to have, you know, um, Seth Rogen in there, Chris Vermin's Plus in there, um, a lot of great people in there, and you got Rose Byrne in there as well. Zac Efron's in there, which I heard that this is basically the movie that makes you really, you know, we knew that Zac Efron was a great actress, but really now we're realizing that he's doing really good movies, 
And I'm really looking forward to this. I think this looks absolutely hysterical. I think it's probably going to be one of the com big comedies this summer. The comedy of summer is probably going to be either Neighbors or 22 Jump Street. And if 22 Jump Street, for some reason, I don't know why, but if, if it ends up being a terrible, terrible movie and it sucks, I think Neighbors is going to be that, you know, amazing, that uh, really great comedy. Really looking forward to it. Looks, again, really, really funny. And I just, I cannot wait to see Neighbors. I think it looks fantastic. Um, definitely Neighbors, uh, May 9th. I will be checking that one out. And... The next movie that comes out is on um, May 16th, and that is when Godzilla comes out. And, of course, I'm looking forward to um, Godzilla 1 because we got a really great cast in there. You know, you got Aaron Taylor Johnson from Kick-Ass, who he, I think is a great actor, personally. I know some people think he's not that, you know, he's only good in Kick-Ass, but I think he's a pretty good actor. Um, Brian Cranston's in there, and uh, Sally Hawkins is in there. A lot of great people in that movie. And I'm really looking forward to this one. I think it's going to be, um, you know, really good. My only complaint is that they have shown a little bit too much of this trailer. Um, you know, they've shown too much of it. And I think they've what they've shown too much of is they revealed Godzilla's face. And they should not have done that. I do think this is going to be pretty good, though. However, I am kind of worried that this is going to be a piece of shit. I don't know if it will be, but you never know um, anymore. So I'm looking forward to Godzilla. May 16th, I will be checking that one out. Also coming out May 16th is Million Dollar Arm, and I don't think this is going to be good. Um, why? Because Draft Day just came out, and literally nobody has talked about it. Nobody's talked about it, nobody's discussed it. I heard it's it's not a good movie. So I have a feeling Million Dollar Arm is probably going to be the same. John Hamm is a great actor. He's fantastic in Mad Men, but I don't think you know he's the best choice for this. I don't think it looks like that good of a movie at all. Personally, I don't like sports movies. The only sports movie that I really love is The Blind Side. Um, that's like the only sports movie that I can watch over and over again. Other than that, there aren't too many other sports movies I like. You, if you guys know me, you know I'm not a sports person. Hello, Guys and Dolls, musical. That's that's more what I'm into. Um, you know, I'm really not into sports. So this movie, just for me, I, I don't know. I'm not going to see it. I, I If it's good, I might see it. But, you know, John Hamm's in it. He's definitely a good actor. If it does end up being good, I won't be surprised, but I have a feeling this is not going to be very good. And the next movie that comes out is on May 23rd, and this one, you know, I know some people are probably really leery about this movie, kind of like, uh, not again, but I have a feeling this one could turn this actor around, and that movie is Blended. Now, this stars Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. I kind of feel like this is going to be Adam Sandler's comeback film. I'm not saying Grown Ups 2 wasn't funny last year, which I thought there were some parts that were funny in Grown Ups 2, but definitely, it's probably one of Adam Sandler's worst movies. It really is. And, you know, this movie, I think, is probably going to be his big return. It actually looks really funny. Um, the, pro the plot of Blended, you know, it's really funny, is that Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler, they go on this date, they end up hating each other, and then they end up going on the same vacation together, having to pose, and basically they, make, they think that they are a married couple. I think that's a really funny premise. I think it's going to end up being really funny. I've loved both of the movies that Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore have done together. 51st Dates is okay, but Wedding Singer is absolutely hilarious. I love Wedding Singer. That's one of my favorite Adam Sandler movies. Um, I think this is definitely going to be my his return to form. I think it's going to be a great movie for him. And I really hope that this one succeeds. I really hope this is um, better than Just Go With It. Just Go With It was good, but it's kind of just like a watch it once type of movie. Just Go With It definitely is one of the few he's done that hasn't been complete shit. And this one looks pretty funny. I do I do think it looks pretty funny. Bella Thorne, who I usually hate, I hated her show Shake It Up. She actually looks really funny in this. So I'm looking forward to seeing her in this movie as well. Um, she got she's really hot in this movie as well. I mean Bella Thorne's pretty close to my age, but I holy shit, Bella Thorne's like really hot in this movie. And I, I'm also I'm looking forward to that as well. But definitely blended. It looks really, really good. Um I think I def not really good, but I think it's gonna be end up being really good. Um, I really hope so, at least. Please, Adam Sandler. Please, Adam, I'm pulling for you. Um, now, the next movie, and I'm sure that this is the one that everyone wants to see the most. For me, the one I want to see the most is either Dorothy Legend of Oz or X-Men Days of Future Past. Why? It's, you know, the thing for X-Men is X-Men First Class, a couple years ago when I first saw it, is actually the movie that got me into all these superhero movies. After that, I was, like, addicted to superhero movies. I'm not addicted to them now, but I appreciate them a lot more than I did, like, say, five years ago. You know, X-Men First Class was a fantastic movie, and this can be the follow-up towards that, and I'm really looking forward to it. Great cast in there. 
Um, Peter Dinklage is in this movie as well from Game of Thrones, so that's going to be great too. Um, basically, everyone is back from the last movie and also from uh, the original X-Men movie, so I think that's really great. And Jennifer Lawrence is also in there as well, who is, you know, fucking attractive. She's so attractive, definitely. And also, um, not only is she attractive, but she was also a great actress, so she's going to be great too. And Hugh Jackman, of course, is back. Everyone's back in this movie, and I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be the best movie of May, in my opinion, besides Dorothy Legends of Oz, even though I know it sounds really stupid that I want to see that. But I've literally been waiting for that movie for a long time, so don't judge me. The next movie... I'm kind of on the fence about this one. I, I really am. I'm pulling for it to be good. I really am. But after these last few fairy tale movies, I really don't know. May 30th, Maleficent comes out. And my only problem with this movie is they picked completely the wrong actress to play Maleficent. Angelina Jolie, in my opinion, is a horrible actress. She really is. Yes, I am not saying I am not saying she hasn't done good things. I heard Salt was a good movie. I never saw Salt. I heard that was a good movie. But, um, think of another movie that Angelina Jolie has done that's actually been good. Right, there's not any. Um, what else has Angelina Jolie done? Let me just look it up really quickly because I'm kind of blanking on what else she's done. Um, but in my opinion, Angelina Jolie is one, is just not that good of an actress. I don't know, you guys can hate me for that, but I don't think she's that good of an actress. I don't think she's anything that good. Um, there's no other movie she's done that's been that memorable to me, except for Salt. That's, like, the only thing I can remember. And Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider was good, too. I never saw Tomb Raider, but I heard it was good. Um, she did Kung Fu Panda. That was pretty good. Um, but the last movie that she's done was Kung Fu Panda 2, so I I'm really hoping she's good in this, but I kind of have a feeling this movie's probably gonna end up being a piece of shit, kind of like Million Dollar Arm. And I'm really, really leery about this movie, kind of on the fence of how to think about this one. I do want it to be really good, but I don't know if it's going to be good. I guess we're just going to have to see if it's a good movie or not. Um, but, you know, for those who are fans of Angelina Jolie, for those who are fans of this, I am looking forward to it. I do hope it's going to be good. And But the problem is, I was so excited. You know why I'm so on the fence about these fairy tale movies, guys? A couple of years ago, a movie came out called Snowing the Huntsman. I know everybody loved it. I thought it was a piece of shit. I did not like that movie at all. I did not find it good. I just, I, I found it awful. Completely the wrong cast. And this movie, I think, could be different than that. I like that they're kind of taking a darker approach and kind of like the untold story of how they met. Um, but I just don't know. I, I don't know how it's going to be, and I kind of have a feeling the movie's not going to be good. The last movie to talk about, though, is um, A Million Ways to Die in the West. And this is Seth MacFarlane's next comedy. If this also comes out May 30th. Um, and I am also really looking forward to this one because um, Ted was hilarious. You know, it was definitely a great movie. This one looks like they're parroting Western movies. And, you know, I know a lot of people are saying this one doesn't look that funny to them or whatever. But I think this looks really funny personally. I think it's going to end up being really funny. And you got a great cast too. You don't only have Seth MacFarlane. You also have uh, uh, Liam Neeson in there. Charlize Theron. Neil Patrick Harris, who's always, always funny. I mean, no matter what he does, he is funny. Even in terrible stuff, like, um... I'm trying to think of some bad he's done. I, I know there's something bad he did, but I actually thought he was okay in it. Um, no matter what he does, he's always funny. Sarah Silverman, who, she's always funny as well. Um, you know, Amanda, Seaf Amanda um, Seafried is in there. So that, you know, she's... Um, she's also going to be really great. Um, in that movie. I, I think she's a good actress. Um, but I think it's going to be a really funny movie. Personally, I'm really looking forward to A Million Ways to Die in the West. I think it's, it looks... I just think it looks really funny to me. I think it's probably going to end up being really funny. It could end up sucking. I do see how it could suck. But it looks really, really funny to me. I think it'll be pretty funny. Um, I think it's going to pull through. But that's basically all the movies that are coming out in May. I know there aren't too many. There were a couple limited releases that I skipped. That I just didn't think were that worth it. Like Belle... Um, which there's no one really in that movie that I recognize, except for, um, Tom Wilkinson, Emily Watson, um, Walk, um, Chef, which I didn't realize, which I didn't talk about either, because it doesn't look, it doesn't sound that promising, uh, I didn't talk about Palo Alto, which I did, I wanted to talk about that one, that one's basically about, um, James Franco and Emma Roberts, it looks okay, but the big movies I talked about, and I'm really looking forward to a lot of the movies coming out in May, I think it's gonna be... Very interesting, you got a lot coming out. You know, you have The Amazing Spider-Man 2 coming out. You have Legend of Oz, Dorothy's Return, which I'm really looking forward to. Neighbors, which looks hysterical. I'm really looking forward to Neighbors. I definitely want to see that. 
Godzilla, which looks really good. Blended, which looks like it could be a funny movie. And um, you also have X-Men Days Future Past. I mean, the one I'm looking forward to the most definitely is X-Men Days of Future Past. Either that or Dorothy's Return, because I just think it, it looks really good. Um, but that's it for my, uh, you know, May movie preview show. Again, as usual, as I usually do, all of the links will be down to the trailers. All the links to trailers will be posted in the description below. Let me know what your movie that you're most looking forward to in May is. I know probably a lot of you X-Men Days of Future Past. I know it's really, really silly that I really want to see Legends of Oz, Dorothy's Return as much as I do. I just, I've really been looking forward to that movie for a while, even before Frozen came out. You know, that, that came out even before I knew about Frozen, so I have a feeling this is going to be as big as Frozen, but that's it for um, this review. I hope me and you, you know, not review. That's it for this video on the movie preview. My next video um, will be either one of two things. It'll either be my summer um, TV show schedule um, video where we'll talk about all the shows I'll be watching in the summer, checking them out, things like that. Or I'll be my review of The Vampire Diaries. So I will see you guys for either of you. I don't know which one's going to be yet, but I will see you guys for that. Okay, bye.